Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm gonna talk you through how to beat the Shark Boss on floor 12F. It's the Pirate Ghost Boss. Uh, essentially, it comes up out of the water and it is one of the coolest boss fights in the game up until now. So I'm gonna talk to you how to beat it. Hopefully the video is gonna help you out. But essentially, it starts out by possessing the ship's deck and coming after Luigi to try to chomp him and what you need to do is pick up the barrels and fire them into its mouth. Now that's easier said than done because it moves a lot and you've got these other ghosts around you hurling barrels at you so it's easy to get chewed up. You just need to try to avoid it as much as possible, get yourself in a good position and then fire it when it's got its mouth open. So point in the direction of it and get it so that it just lands into its mouth and it'll explode and come out. And then you're into the next phase of the boss fight where it kind of swims around the air and smashes down with its hook. And that's actually what you're waiting for. You're trying to wait for it to really land with the hook. So avoid that first one, but what you're waiting for is when it smashes and lands one of those, and then you can flash it with the strobe bulb and start to hoover it up with the poltergust. Hit it with some slams to do some damage, and that will be the end of that phase, and it'll go back to possessing the deck and charging around. But each time you go through that process, it gets a little bit more frantic, so it's a bit more difficult to get the barrels into its mouth without getting hit. The barrels come a little bit faster, the ghost moves a little bit quicker as well, so it just all makes it a little bit more difficult to move around without getting at least a little bit of damage, and you kind of have to be patient. As soon as you've got the perfect opportunity, fire it into its mouth. But when you're not firing, make sure you're running around and picking up hearts because it's literally the only way to stay in this fight. So then getting the third one in, it'll fly out again and go back to this phase. And then again, it's just the case of picking up the hearts and avoiding its hook. So lead it around, it does one of these first ones to begin with, and then it will eventually drop the big hook, which gives you the opportunity to smash out the uh, strobe bulb and start to hoover it with the poltergust, drop it with some smashes with A, and then you're into the final phase. You can see the shark ghost boss gets pretty angry and possesses this thing. So instead of the floor trying to chomp you, you get the entire wall trying to chomp you, and it's easy to kind of get tripped up by that. So you'll see in a second, I run in and try to get a little heart close to it, and then it kind of starts to hoover me in and, uh, and chews me up. So that's what you're supposed to avoid, but if you do get in there, just smash A to get out as quickly as possible, and then you're into this phase here. And the idea here is to get one of the barrels to go into its mouth. So wait for it to be open, fire it on in, and that will explode, doing a little bit of damage. And the best thing to do is just wait there, pointing in the direction of the ghosts that are firing barrels, hoover as soon as he gets close and fire as soon as you get it. You can see I cycle through this entire process really, really quickly. So again, just sort of wait in for them to come. However, when it gets to this phase, you've got to run over to the right hand side and use the plunger to get yourself some safety before it kind of like just tips you right back into its mouth. So you need to run over to the right hand side, plunge her on the target and use the poltergust suction to be able to get yourself some safety and then you're back into this phase again. So just use the poltergust to get the barrels, fire it on into its mouth and then cycle, rinse, repeat as quickly as you can to be able to get through this phase. And then this should be the last one. So the barrel goes in, it takes quite a few, but if you just stand and face, it's really easy to be able to crack them into its mouth really, really quick. But the shark isn't quite done there. It's pretty, it's pretty ill. It's like coughing and spluttering. However, it is still going. You can see it does this sort of shark attack and running away from it won't help you. You will lose quite a lot of health. You lose 20 from that. But I'll show you how to avoid that in a little second. So you can see, just sort of avoid it as much as you can and keep moving out of the way. And then when it tries the shark attack on you again, when it gets close, do a burst and that will jump over it so you avoid getting hit entirely. And then what you're waiting for is an opportunity for it to do the big hook move, which is about to do, stay out of the way of that, hit it with the strobe orb, and this is the last one. Use the poltergust to do some smashes and finish it off. So that's how to beat the shark boss 
here on floor 12F, the spectral catch. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you wanna get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of my guide to Luigi's Mansion 3 with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I will catch you next time.